Hey everybody, uh, I'm doing this video as a book recommendation. The title of the book is The Prize, The Epic Quest for Oil, Money, and Power. It's by Daniel Jurgen. Uh, the book is a detailed uh, historical look at the oil industry. And I really like this book because it gives you um, a very lengthy and in detail uh, look at the oil industry from the first well that they drilled in Titusville, Pennsylvania, all the way to today. I had a um, an outdated version, so mine only went up to the Gulf War, but the more recent versions take you a little further. And the book, Jurgen is a real master of detail. Uh, he covers pretty much everything that you could think of, and he gives a lot of interesting storylines in the book. Uh, one thing that a lot of people might be interested in is the... Um, I really like the portion of the book from the early wells to 1900 because it gives a lot of uh, lesser known information. One one thing I never knew is that um, the Rothschild family, everyone always thinks that's a big conspiracy theory. Well, it's not because in this book, uh, he goes into how the Rothschild family basically made the early Russian oil industry. And for a long time, it was a competition between the um, the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds because they had a huge share of the global market with Rockefeller having the uh, the American half and the Rothschilds through their business interests uh, controlling most of the Russian oil industry. And another interesting thing that it tells you is about um, Alfred Nobel had a brother and he was really big in the uh, early days of the Russian oil industry. And that's just um, a few things that you'll learn in the book. Another interesting thing is that Royal Dutch Shell it used to be two companies, which you can kind of infer from the name, uh, Royal Dutch and Shell. And the interesting thing on this one is, for a long time, Shell was managed by a, uh, a Jewish uh, banker from uh, from London, and Royal Dutch was it was founded, you know, by um, a Dutchman who ended up being a Nazi sympathizer. But then the uh, the companies merged, even though the backgrounds of the two CEOs were very different and interesting, with one being a Jew and the other being a, a Nazi sympathizer type uh, individual. Uh, then it goes on into the um, the 50s and at the great post-war oil boom. Uh, it talks a lot about the oil shocks in the 70s uh, and it goes in detail about the um, uh, with Nixon and the, uh, the Israeli wars and how that had a big deal or a big impact on oil prices and the oil industry as a whole. Uh, the book is very long. I think it's over a thousand pages. If it's not, it's close to it. Uh, it's But it's worth every, um, every page. If you don't want to buy it, it should be available in most libraries. I got it from my school library. Uh, I was looking for good books and I thought that one might be one that interested me. Uh, it's definitely worth a read and um, if you enjoy it, Daniel Jurgen has just published a, uh, it's kind of a follow-up book with what he thinks will be the, uh, the outlook for the energy future of the world, and um, it goes into a lot more about uh, oil in the future and other energy sources. So again, the title of the book is The Prize, The Epic Quest for Oil, Money, and Power by Daniel Jurgen. Uh, the author is an ener energy uh, industry analyst. He writes all kinds of uh, reports on the, in the industry and uh, publishes them. Uh, he's more or less an expert. So if you, um, if you want the link to the book, I'll put it in the descriptions. I highly recommend it for everybody. Thanks for watching.